know that I'm not trying to flee or elude because everything you're saying is being recorded. I just need to get into a, uh, a well-lit area is what I'm looking for. But I would call 911. I wouldn't just do it without being on the phone with law enforcement and slowing and putting on your hazards so that it's clear you're not trying to get away because that is going to raise some red flags for them. Okay. It's not against the law, but, it, but what you want to do is be as clear as possible when you're communicating um, with the 911 operator so that there's no question. I am not running. I just need to get to this gas station in the well lit area. I just don't feel safe. I'm a young woman and I'm by myself. Because if you look at the statistics, there are across the country, Georgia I think is probably fourth as it relates to police misconduct. Most of the time, it is sex, sex related offenses against women. So there's a high percentage of study out that, you know, so you're, you know, I'm not saying that all cops are doing that, but that your concern is based in fact and statistics. Okay. So it's a legitimate concern, yes. but in an abundance of caution, call 911 rather than simply continuing to drive so as to avoid escalating uh, the encounter. That is his advice. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to let Mel respond, but I'm, I'm not sure I understand the question. Let me, let me ask you directly, what is your objection to calling 911? Doing the right thing the right way can still result in bad things for black people. So why not do what we feel, what we think, not in the sense, not against the law. Why not? Why not? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm, Male or female. I'm, I'm, be very clear. I'm, I'm, we represent people all the time that are shot, that are killed by police. And so I, I understand the dangers of being black in America. So I'm not... Yes, my thing is safety first, and I tell that to my our two teenage sons. So, if you feel unsafe, then do what you think is safe, but do it in a way that does not escalate the situation. I'll give you a quick example. Example, young lady didn't feel like she ran a stop sign. She doesn't want to sign the ticket. If you don't sign the ticket, then they can get to arrest you, right? You're just like, I don't agree, I'm not going to sign the ticket. Okay, well then I'm going to arrest you. They bust out the window, pull it through the window. She's cut up from it. She gets arrested over not signing a ticket on the stop sign. Let us fight that stuff later, right? And so on the street, they have a badge and a gun. You still may get killed doing the right thing, but at least put yourself, reduce the likelihood of you putting yourself in danger of getting shot or getting drunk through a, a window that was just busted out. That's all I'm suggesting. I'm not agreeing with how things are handled. I'm just telling you the reality this, of, of seeing families who lose loved ones from just running. Our lap, the Union City, Ariston Waiters, they say he ran away and he gets two shots in the back. So he may have still got killed, but let's not even put ourselves in a position as best we can and deal with it from there. Thank you so much.